In this video, I'm going to give you a full step-by-step -step tour on how to do Amazon FBA product research in 15 minutes in 2024. Everything you need to know what a good product looks like, how to find good products, how to qualify them, what software you need, and everything in between. Let's jump inside my screen and do some Amazon FBA product research. So we're here inside my screen, guys. This is primarily where we'll be hanging out to do Amazon FBA online arbitrage. Finding discounted name brand products on big retail websites like Kohl's, Walmart, and Target big brand name brand products that already have proven demand that customers are already searching for that have proven sales history on Amazon that we can find and flip at a profit. So to start off, we take a look at this item. How we, how do we actually quantify what a good product looks like? So go ahead and take that look at this listing. For example, right here, we can see this listing has 32 reviews. So we know someone has bought it. However, a much better indication of what actually sells well is going to be known as the BSR, aka the sales rank, otherwise known as best sellers rank. So it's important to note, guys, the lower the sales rank, the better. So a 10K rank sells really well. A 50K rank sells decent. A 100K rank sells, but it sells worse than a 50K rank, which sells worse than a 10K rank, for example. So in general, guys, we want to take a look at listings that are below like a 150,000 sales rank for the most part, or even this is more the holiday time of the year, like two, under 200,000 for the most part. We can see Taking a look at the Selleramp Chrome extension right here, this listing currently has a BSR of about 97K. So this is totally good here. And we can see the estimated sales per month is 41, which tends to be a little bit lower. However, there's only three sellers and the estimated sales and sales rank change daily, right? So we take a look at this listing, we can see it's a 97K rank. So we know that this listing actually sells. This metric right here, the 46.59 is the buy box price right here, which is where we want to price our product based off of right here. So seller amp is actually going to be the profit calculator, which shows us how much profit we're going to make on a specific product and how fast the listing sells. You can try seller amp completely free for two weeks on our website, selleramp.com. So the cool thing about the seller amp profit calculator right here, guys, is seller amp takes into account shipping, fees, sales tax, literally everything. So for example, on this item, our max cost is $27.33. As a beginner, we want $3 plus profit per unit and a 30% plus return on investment, right? So that's what we need to do based on this max cost right here. Over on this website with the subscribe and save option, we can actually go ahead and snag this for $22.77. So for example, here at $22.77, we just do the subscribe and save option, then cancel. We can see that leaves about $13 profit per sale and a 56% return on investment. So that's after shipping, fees, sales tax, literally everything that goes into this. You can configure your shipping and your sales tax and your settings, for example. Right. So we can see 90 tablets, 54.50 right here, 90 tablets, 54.50 right here. It is always important to you know really closely verify that it's the right item. However, just based on the metrics, we can see $13 profit per sale at a $46 price point and a 56% ROI right here. So basic product research criteria for a beginner is going to be under 150 or 200,000 sales rank, right? $3 plus profit per sale, 30% plus ROI. And remember guys, that's after everything. Now, we can see this listing is currently profitable today. However, what we also want to verify is we just want to make sure this listing's actually been profitable over time. So how do we go ahead and do that? We scroll down here on Selleramp and take a look at the charts right here. So what we primarily want to take a look at, guys, is the bottom chart right here, which is going to show the offer count, otherwise known as the competition. And then the top chart right here is going to show the demand, aka the sales rank over time, right? and the buy box price. So we wanna make sure that this listing's actually been profitable for several weeks in a row, if not more. And we wanna make sure that the competition isn't shooting up and that the price isn't shooting down. So we can see on this listing, August 1st, there were 13 sellers. And then a couple of weeks later, a month later, there were four sellers. And we can see on August 1st, the price was right around like, $32, for example, and now it's right up around like 46, 47 here. So we can see that's the type of trend of listing we want to go ahead and carry, right? So in terms of basic product research criteria, good sales rank, good profit, good ROI, and no indicators that the competition is going to shoot up or is shooting up and the price is going to shoot down or is shooting down, which we can see 
This is an example of what a winning product looks like. Now, obviously, we know what a winning product looks like. How do we find more winning products from here? What a lot of beginners want to do to do product research for Amazon FBA is just go to random websites and look through the clearance section. What makes a lot more sense, guys, is instead to look for products that are selling well on Amazon. And the way we're going to do that is known as the storefront stalking, otherwise known as reverse sourcing method right here. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go ahead and scroll down here and take a look inside the storefronts of other sellers. So all we need to do to do that is click open their storefront name right here. So now we can go ahead and use this winning product to find other winning products from here. Now immediately we can see all the different brands these sellers carry and all the different categories these sellers carry, right? And we can filter into specific ones or just scroll through the listings that show up at the beginning, which tend to be the quickest moving products. So for example, these video games here, 1K rank, sell phenomenally well. 1K rank sells really, really well. And we can see the chart here, pretty stable right there. Pretty stable right here as well. Pretty stable the past you know month or so right here. So now all we need to do, guys, is take a look at what these sellers are carrying and scroll through and open up their fast selling listings, right? So for example, 1K rank right here, we'll take a look at that. No BSR right here. That could just be a glitch though, because this does have a ton of reviews right here as well. So all we need to do, guys, is take a look at these different seller storefronts and open up their fast moving products. Then go ahead and say, okay, what else are they carrying? And how can I track this stuff down profitably, right? So we can see Amazon on this guy right here. However, we can see other third-party sellers are pretty close to Amazon. A big mistake a lot of beginners make is they automatically avoid listings Amazon's on or listings with no buy box. Do not automatically avoid that stuff, right? That stuff can totally be good. So we just open up these listings. We can see other sellers making money on here, right? And then all we're going to do is rock and roll in here and say, okay, what can we track down profitably here, right? We'll open up a couple from this seller too, right? We'll take a look at these guys here. And obviously not anywhere close to every item is going to be profitable. Right, you're going to filter into your favorite listings, for example, right here. So we can see like Dashing Diva. Not really sure what that is, but I can see other people making money on it. Right, Puritan's Pride. We'll take a look at this stuff right here. Right, 26. Right, we can see 16 right here. Right, and the cool thing is when you see something in someone else's catalog, that helps validate that it's most likely going to be reseller friendly. Right, we can see 21 right here. Right, so now we can go ahead and take a look through a bunch of these products and see if we can track down any of them profitably. Right, so for example, this listing has a 51 buy box, right? Max cost is 28. We'll go ahead and hit the Google button to plug this in on Google and see what we can do right here, right? So for example, looks like this is going at 45 on GameStop and there's about 10% off, for example, right here. So if we go ahead and plug in 45 right here and then we wanna take off 10%. So we multiply that by 0 0.90, we can see, puts us right about like break even minus 10% ROI. Definitely not the type of stuff I wanna carry in my store. Right, and we'll take a look at this listing here. Right, we can see $13 max cost right here on seller amp. So now we'll go ahead and plug this in and see what we can do right here. Looks like these are a little bit more expensive too, right? 20 bucks right there. Let's see. You always got to really, really make sure it's the right thing too. 100 tablets right here. Let's see. Yeah, 60 capsules. Okay, that's a different product. Not really seeing anything that makes sense from like a buy cost perspective. A really important thing too, guys, is to make sure you're using Capital One Shopping and Rakuten and Top Cashback and the other free cashback and coupon extensions, as well as discounted gift cards from sites like Card Bear and Top Cashback to make items cheaper as well. Right. So obviously not every item is going to be profitable, but if you take a look at enough listings, stuff is going to become profitable. And then you need to take a look at the charts on SellerAmp to make sure they've actually been profitable over time. Right. So taking a look at this listing right here, we can plug this in and we can see looks like 30 soft gels right here. Right, this one's 120 here. We can see the 120 is like, yeah, not even showing right here. So that's a very off buy cost right there. Let's see, max cost is 20 right here as well. Go ahead and take a look at this right here. Right, ooh, okay, wow, wow, okay, very good. So I think this is actually gonna be profitable here. Occasionally yours here, let's see. Okay, so we'd see, we want, the, uh, want these other colors here though. Let's see, Flamingo right here as well. Let's go ahead and plug this in, see if this makes sense here. Let's see bog bag right here. Cause if that pink color is in stock, that actually is going to be profitable. Um, right here, it looks like not popping up that pink color right here. Right. We'll take a look at this Navy one though. Buy box at 50, right? This could totally be good. Let's see what this looks at here. Okay. 34 here. Aha. Yeah. So this is going to be the kind of thing where if there's any sort of coupon on these websites, this probably does become good. Then if you're worried about like ungating or anything like that, we have full tour on our channel. 
as well. Let's see. Sign up for uh, $10 off. You need a little bit better than that. Yeah. $10 off ain't going to cut it here. Ah, 10% off. I can work with that. Let's see. So we pay like 29 Rare. So this listing's pretty close at 29 It's just barely not good. Um, maybe there's some type of rewards program or gift cards we can use on that. However, most likely going to have to pass on this. Has this been higher in the past? We can see, yeah, people have buy boxed up at like, yeah, 52, 53, for example. Rare, which puts that above 30% ROI. However, currently I would pass on this, but I can see this listing actually has been profitable over time. So what I'll, in this case, we can't buy this day, or at least I don't think it makes sense to. I'm a big fan of quick flips, right? We can go ahead down here and one-click export this out to an almost good spreadsheet in Celeram. That's going to save that in Google Sheets with one click, save all the data for it. And then we can come back and check in the future if this listing becomes good right here as well, right? So in C, right? Life extension here, uh, buy cost or max cost is 13. Take a look right here. And this is the name of the game with online arbitrage. Let's see. 60 vegetarian capsules right here. Okay. Let's see. So bio, super bio. Okay. Let's see. So you always got to make sure it's the right thing here. We can see at 14.25 here, right? We can take a look 14.25. We're actually pretty close on something like this. What I'm going to do is see if there's any other sort of coupon. Yeah. For example, if this stacks on right here, and say that gives us you know, an extra like 10% or so, depending on how many we buy, this listing becomes nice and good. So what I would do is I would add this to cart and see if the numbers make sense and see if that extra coupon works because then that is going to become good. But we need to make sure this listing's actually been profitable over time, which I can actually see it has been super stable over time. And even though Amazon's on it, this listing is nicely seeing its competition decrease and the offer count is moving. So assuming that second coupon works, this is actually a good product and say that actually that second coupon doesn't work. This is a listing that's just going to be close to being good right there. So we can see close on that specific item right here. Take a look at this. Let's say so 34, we need to pay like uh, 18 or less right here. Let's see. Yeah. 26 got to be a big coupon if this is going to work. Let's see. 26 bucks right here. looks like there's actually a wholesale opportunity right there. Sometimes websites will have like a discount at the bottom here. Yeah. We can see. Right, then I'm offering any discount right there. Capital One Shopping. Ooh, okay, 15% off. Right. Oh, and then this, okay, sign up 15% off too. Let's see. So this is uh 26 bucks right here. So 26 bucks. Take off 15%. Close. Not good today though. However, we need to take a look at the chart and see if it's been profitable over time, which we can see in this case. And eh, briefly up at like 40. Still not good though right there actually actually is good at 40 right so this actually <laughs> did not think that was the case this would be good using the almost good spreadsheets and selling if you go ahead and take a look at this when it's 40. so this would be a kind of thing you'd be rewarded heavily for going ahead and tracking right here so let's see 18 right here yeah i don't really see us finding these for like three bucks <laughs> yeah okay definitely not right here yeah we need them for uh yeah dollar fifty each definitely not good right there let's see this is what 42 41.89 right here buy cost is 24. Right, we can also see FBM somewhere in the buy box, always a good sign. Right, so go ahead and take a look at this. All right, we can see going ahead here, 26. This is uh, M1190 right here. M1190 right here, 40 tablets, 40 tablets. Let's see. Right, so we can see here, looks like using subscribe and save, then just cancel. Right, we can go ahead and see 26, 23.76 right here. We can see about eight bucks profit, 30% ROI in a listing like this. However, right, we can see sales ranks a bit high here, right? We can see it's red. It's only red because it's in the, it's in, not in the top 1%. However, right, we need to go ahead and take a look down here at the chart and see if this has been profitable over time, right? Because think about it. If people weren't selling as fast as they want to, they'd be dropping their price. However, taking a look at a listing like this, we can see nice stable price right here. Good offer count movement as well. Right. So this listing looks like even though it's a little bit lower velocity based on the sales rank, still totally cool. Good offer count movement. So we know that this is listing is actually moving. You don't want the offer count really blocky right here. And we can see nice stable price over time. It's been going for like 42 pretty consistently right here as well. This is a good looking listing, right? So we can see while well, a couple of those other items were either close to being good or not quite good. Or if that uh, life extension item, I believe it was called, did have that coupon that worked would be good. This is an item that we know does check out based on all the different metrics, nice stable price, good profit, 
good ROI, even some history going a bit higher than that. This is the type of listing that probably does make sense as well. Now, in terms of how many you buy when you're a new seller, you just want to test out nice and light, especially with merch filled, like we can see. This listing has a merch filled seller in the buy box. This means they did not ship the product off to Amazon. With merch and fulfilled, you can test a lot lighter, right? Rather than having to buy 10 or 20 units for Amazon FBA to justify the bulk shipping cost to Amazon. The FBM calculator on SellerAmp, all you need to do to get that up is just take a look at the weight right here. And then go ahead and scroll down and toggle over to FBM. Right when you see it's like four ounces right here, so you're probably gonna ship for like four bucks, 450. Right here, so we can see. This listing here we can see is actually a little bit better FBA compared to FBM. But if you're a new seller, don't really take cost into account. Just take a look at what other sellers are doing on this listing. And we can see while there's a bunch of FBA sellers, there's an FBM seller currently in the buy box. And this listing has six FBM sellers. So we can assume other people are making money on this FBM. So you guys can see what it takes to do Amazon FBA product research using the storefront stalking, aka reverse sourcing method to look at what other sellers are listing. Now you've seen a couple of examples of products that are profitable, close to profitable, or with a slightly bigger discount would become profitable. You have other good places to start out storefront stalking as well to go ahead and take a look at that. And SellerAmp is going to help you do that using the reverse sourcing feature as well as the profit calculator. If you haven't yet tried out SellerAmp on our website, go to that. Two weeks for free at selleramp.com. If you have any questions, let us know down below in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Happy hunting. Q4 is going to be absolutely crazy. Lock in. It's going to be a great time, guys. Let's get after it.